Well, hello, welcome, and um, thank you for joining us in this quick tutorial of how to navigate through your Clover Home. Um, the Clover is a very, very nice system that allows a restaurant, quick service, and retail to manage their orders, manage their employees, manage transactions, as well as inventory and, uh, and other things. Now, as we can see here, this is basically our dashboard. This is what we see here also on the screen of the Clover. Um, you have more tools, so this basically takes you to the app market, so you could download more applications. Whether you need, uh, you know, an application to do online ordering, or if you want to do the loyalty programs, or if you want to uh, do inventory with your POS system and stuff like that um, on a restaurant level, so uh, you can do that there. The reporting is basically to pull your reports, pretty self-explanatory. Transactions, you will see all the credit card transactions that you've done. You can change the date from a certain date to a certain date, so it will give you a report of all those transactions throughout that month, week, um, quarter, or whatever you need. Also, employees. Employees is actually the app where you add your employees. Um, orders is where you actually save your orders and uh, you maintain um, a good basically a good track of all the, the all the you know basic all the orders that you have put through and then the ones that are open the ones that are still open and then the ones that are paid um, inventory is to add inventory or change the inventory whether it's uh, your menu you can add things there add things such as your categories items or modifiers as well as if you're a retail you could put the SKU number you could put the quantity that you have on hand and obviously to decrement the stock as you're selling it uh, discounts obviously obviously you can set up different types of discounts there there's no limit um, your setup screen I'm gonna go through that real, real quickly after I get down to uh, these last couple applications the tips application is uh, the one where you actually adjust your tips. So typically if you used a credit card machine in the past, you had to add the tips afterwards. Or even if it asked you right there on the spot, you know, how much money they were going to, you know, leave you for a tip, you had to put it in there. Well, this is the same thing. You have to add in the tips. Close out is obviously to just close out and do the batch. Um, a lot of the times if you're in front of the... Clover Station, what you will probably want to go is into orders, and then on the top right hand corner, you're, see, you're going to see three dots. And these three dots are basically uh, going to tell you close out, and that's, that's how you close out your, your batch. And last but not least, uh, shift. So, this is basically how your customer, I'm sorry, your employees will be able to clock in and clock out and this is where you will get the reports for their shifts. Now mind you, there are some other applications that you can download for um, clock time in and time out as well as your scheduling. Um, sorry about that. So let me go in there real quick to the setup. Uh, the setup uh, is actually pretty simple. You have different um, options here on the left hand side. Typically, let's go to the orders. You're going to see on orders automatically group similar items, allow notes on the orders. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. Remaining category after adding an item to an order. Oh, well, we just don't want to do that yet. Uh, and then you have to hit save. Every time that you make a change on the Clover system, you have to hit save. As far as receipts, um, print the order receipt. It gives you the option here, print when hitting pay, print uh, fire when hit and save, and so on and so forth. So for now, I'm just going to actually hit that. Uh, use a large font. You know, typically you want to do that. Order numbers, if you want to have order numbers, and if you don't, you don't. Uh, manual cashier enters, order notes, uh, use alternate inventory names, group line items, condensed modifiers, so on and so forth. So just, just so you get an idea, this is where you manage all the back end stuff. Order types, you can add order types here, which is the really nice part. You can have, for example, oops, dine in.
to go delivery or let's just put Uber Eats and um, pick up okay so then you can change that stuff um, once it's in there you basically have the option to um, select it here and the buttons are going to change delivery and then the pickup you're going to go pick up say okay so dine in to go which really to go and pick up is the same um we could delete that one and just for the sake of you know keeping everything the same we're just going to keep it like that okay then you have the payments so you have the option to click in cash and if it opens the cash drawer uh, pin debit perka cash back offline payments obviously allow offline payments on demand I wouldn't suggest to do that so do not allow offline payments okay um, unless you have a Clover Mini 3G or a mobile 3G then that's a different story payment receipts this is basically what's going to show on the on the receipts uh, you can show the logo on the payment receipts um, you can upload it here and then once it's uploaded it's going to come at the header of your receipt printers it's going to show you a different well in this case it's just showing you the station printer but you can also have the kitchen printer here okay um, the next thing I can tell you is for example reporting so what is the start of the day so this typically is when when your business starts or opens up and it basically counts 12 hours from that point on so you would by default your reports are going to show from 11 a.m. to 10 59 a.m. Um, let me see if you reports well I don't, I don't want to go into that too much but you basically have the dates here that you can select along with the time and then you click get reports you can sync with QuickBooks or zinc with zero and then that will give you your reports okay okay lastly is tax fees so you have the state tax and whatnot service charge is a non-cash adjustment feature for cash discount uh, tips uh, you can ask, ask for a tip um, you can put the suggestions here and then the account settings like who's the owner if you could change the password and so on and so forth so that's basically it guys and uh, if you guys have any other questions you should feel free to call tech support which is at the number of your top right hand corner of your screen uh, and then give them your merchant number that way you guys are able to contact them and ask them all the questions you guys might have if you need training on the on the actual clover system also feel free to call clover support they're there 24 7 and once again my name is jonathan thank you for joining me and i appreciate your time